Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Transroad USA. So we left off last time by fulfilling our 10 contracts over in Seattle. Now we are moving over to Economy Cars, which has uh, offices in Detroit. And I believe it was, where was it down here? Oh, it was Dallas. That's what it was. So the first thing we got to do is we have to get all of our trailers over to the area. So let's go ahead and get started by doing that. Then we'll take a look at what some of our options are. Hopefully we can get some of those nice contracts that are one or two deliveries, uh, preferably there within Detroit, like we saw in Seattle. And then if not, it would be really good if we could have like uh, Detroit to Chicago or Detroit, Pittsburgh, you know, Indy, that kind of stuff. So that they're very close by and they don't take all that long. Because the quicker we get through this, the quicker we see what uh, our good friend Billy has got for us next. All right, so we got, oh, we got economic boom again. We're not going to worry about that stuff. All right, so let's see what is going on in Denver. Do we have anything that we could do with some dry trailers in Denver? I'm scrolling down here because I'm looking for... Okay. I didn't think I was going to get a recurring deal. I didn't think I was going to be that fortunate. But it never hurts to look. Okay, let's scroll back up. I like this. Let's go 10 trips. Um, again, I'm not worried about the money. That's, that's a non-issue to me at this point. Just kind of like to keep these guys busy as much as I can. Uh, but these guys admittedly are sort of left out at this point. There's not enough of them at this stage in the game to really do any of the recurring deals for the most part. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of our quest. And I see our car trailers headed into Indy. All right, there they go. So let's go ahead and zoom in now. Let's go over to schedule one. Oh, can we scroll? Yeah, there we go. The micro freezes are very real in this game. Okay, so we want car trailer and as tempting as some of these things are, if we had enough trucks, I'm gonna not do that. All right, let's find all right, there we go. There's a five trip. Yes, we want five trippers. We'll take that. And that's for five trucks. Of course, we got one more than that. Okay, there's five. And any one trippers? Okay, nope, no such luck. But I do see some more five trip deals that is very nice i'll take that so we'll let these guys get get busy on that so they're going detroit back to indy and the good thing of course about that is once they're done with this and here they come now they'll just simply go to the depot in indy that is the huge benefit of having uh, depots available in a bunch of different cities i just wish we had more of them all right, there they go. They're tempting me with these 50 trip deals because they know I love them. All right, five trips. Let's do that one. And this is for just two trucks. So that's actually pretty awesome. We'll get done with this one in a hurry as well. Okay, get these guys up and running. So there we go. One out of 10 down. Now we're headed right over to Minneapolis. See if we can get it in the screen. So we got this one guy here. The Rock over here just doesn't have any deliveries to make right now. Okay. So all these guys are headed over to Des Moines for some reason. <laughs> 
Again, it would be so nice if I could tell them where I would like for them to go. All right, we're going to take a chance here on... Wait. We are going to take a chance on uh, the timing here. Let's see if we can find five trips to Pittsburgh. Yes, for one truck. That is perfect because that will help us out immensely on the timing. There we go. All right, we'll scroll back out here. And we are declining this, even though that was probably a pretty good deal. Didn't appear to be any more than one contract and probably not that many trucks. So we could have made some nice money right there. Okay, Pittsburgh. Uh, let's see, where are these guys going to go? Yeah, they're going to D.C. Of course they are. Because I want them to go over here. Come back to Indy. And then we got one guy over here in Des Moines because of course he is. Okay, so now let's get everybody at least headed back over here in the right direction. And now we are three out of ten, so well, we are rolling right along. Okay, now let's zoom right back in and see what you got for us now. All right, they're starting to widen it out on us now. They're starting to give us more trips, make this a little bit more difficult for us. Um, at least if we want to continue using these trailers. Because I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, it doesn't say... Yeah, it just says fulfill 10 contracts on time. Buy economy cars. Buy economy cars. Okay, so that might mean if we get that pulled back up. Yeah, they don't have anything else coming from them. So I'm assuming that if we tried to deliver something to economy cars, it probably would not work. But either way, we're rolling right along. And if we have to start taking longer number of trips like these 20s and so on, then that'll certainly be perfectly fine. Won't get us to, to 10 contracts fulfilled quite as quickly as 1s and 5s. Okay, I do see one... Okay, let's go ahead and take Detroit to Detroit. Love these. What was this one? It's just a one truck deal, okay? So we'll put two on that one. Um, any more that you got for us? All right, Detroit to Chicago. I like it. Uh, ooh, a 10 truck deal. We can't do that one. Okay, so I think I'm going to go this 15 trip deal because it's only three trucks. So that'll give us enough time to complete contract number one here. And then get all of our trucks back on the deal. And it's only going to Chicago, so it's not that long of a journey to begin with. All right, looks like we've got our dry trailers. I'm going to ignore them for now because we are moving... Quite quickly, we are at 5 out of 10 after our little two-trip deal. And we're about to be 6 out of 10. Because at this point, I am very interested to see. I know we've got to be getting close to the end. And I'm really interested to see what else the game might be going to throw at us. Um, admittedly, I was not happy about what it did. And I forget, what is that, about three, four videos ago now? Something like that where they decided that it was the best idea to take all of our money away <laughs> or at least attempt to and make a start you know from a much lower position and i would imagine if if we hadn't done so much outside of the career mode then that would have really hurt our ability let's see where are these guys let's head 
I don't want you in Des Moines. All right, is that everybody? One, two, three, six. Yes. Okay. So now that gets us up to six out of ten. Moving right along. All right, 50 trips. Nope, don't want that one if at all possible. And it's a very nice money deal, uh, but I don't want it if I can help it. There we go. I'll take this one. Detroit to Minneapolis. Ten trips and yes, please. There we go. All right, so the only thing we really have to worry about right now is our trucks are headed to Des Moines all the time because it's the closest area to where they finish up. Okay, so we got 10 here. That'll give us seven completed. Then I'm really interested to hear from... Uh, either Billy and of course I know we're gonna hear again from um, our supposed accountant who continues to give us very bad advice and charges us enormously for it so again I'm just kinda of interested at this point to see how the game is gonna wrap this up or if it's gonna throw any more curveballs at us to try to uh, increase the difficulty or lengthen the time it takes to complete this thing Let's take another look at the rating list, and whoop, Gordon Fox has gone back down. So he made his way up to about, what, 13, 14 million. Now he's back down to a company value of right around 10 million. So we are quite literally crushing him at this point. There we go. We are done on number one. Let's see, can I get by with without moving them? Let's zoom in here and see. So that gets us up to seven out of 10. And let's see what else we've got. That's a 10 truck deal. We don't want that one. All right, four, four truck deal. Okay, we can take that one. What is this one? A three truck deal. Um, yes, we will take that. That will help us out on the timing. Throw a whole bunch of trucks at it. Interesting that we would have a three truck contract for 10 trips interesting how the game works through these still interested to see if if the developers have any plans of going north or south with either Canada or uh, down here into Mexico uh, it would appear as though they have plans of Canada because it's already up here on the map but you can see we can't really go down very much here. I mean, we it's there, but a uh, big part of me is thinking that if they release DLC, it's probably going to be Canada first. But yeah, there's definitely a possibility for both of those. And then you never know. They might decide to go over to Europe and, and who knows where. Plenty of possibilities for this game, whether they're looking at... Oops. Uh, whether they're looking at... Uh, DLC for this game or maybe they're looking at a Trans Road 2 uh, but yeah just a lot of possibilities so we're 8 out of 10 now and our guys are over here in DC or at least headed that way let's see what we've got available so we could do go to Chicago oh, there's one to Des Moines uh, it's a five truck deal though and I'm not sure about the timing because all of our trucks are already I like that one but I think I'm gonna take this deal to Chicago just because of the timing three t three trucks required at least in this contract and yeah you can see all of our guys were already in DC so me moving around the map trying to talk about DLC got us a little bit behind but yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they decide to go DLC route 
on this game or if they decide that maybe it's time to start working on uh, Trans Road 2. Either way, I can understand it. Because there's definitely room to expand the game either way. All right, where are we? Six out of ten. All right, let's go ahead. Oops, can we get... All right, this guy's getting maintenance done, so that's going to put us down one truck for our next contract, at least for a little while anyway. Okay, so that's going to get us five over in Indy. All right, we're now down to nine of ten. We got one more contract remaining. Okay, trying to give it time for at least a couple of these guys to get over to Detroit. So let's find a good one here for the last one. Five trips, uh, that will work. Detroit to Des Moines, let's just take that one. Our trucks have been trying to go to Des Moines the whole time anyway. <laughs> Right, so this should be a very quick deal, and then we'll get back to Billy. Scroll out a little bit so we can get to Des Moines. There we go. So this will work out pretty good. As soon as maintenance is done here, he will simply be in the depot along with the rest of the guys. All right, so here we go, last contract. All right, I just got an email from both car factories and they're very happy with our work. Excellent. That's, we'll take some good emails as opposed to some bad letters and emails we've been getting. They also said it's a huge weight off their shoulders not to work with Gordon Fox Trucking anymore. Apparently he was quite a stubborn partner and very unpleasant. Yeah, we kind of got that. Sounds about right. Ha <laughs> ha, good job, Billy. So, are you ready for the final push? Final push, let's do it. Ready as we'll ever be. Since you've completed all the takeover regulations, Fox now has to accept a takeover offer if you can pay his asking price. Okay, so if we can pay his asking price, uh, I noticed the voice acting was very careful not to read out exactly what's on the screen, so it gives us some options uh, to use this type of voiceover later. All right, so he has to accept a takeover offer if the amount the offered amount corresponds to the specified, so eight million? Well, nothing shocks me anymore. That's a lot of money. I mean, we don't have to pay the whole sum at once, but still. Don't worry about it, Billy. We got this. Now you're speechless, right? Well, I also talked to the National Trucking Bank. They won't give you a loan either. Ha ha ha. Okay, I see what you're doing here. Um, not sure why you have any clout remaining whatsoever, but hey, we'll go with it. And unfortunately for you, we don't need a loan. That means we can't even use our overdraft. Um, yeah, we definitely don't want to go that route. Billy, I don't, I don't like your, your financial management skills if you're talking about using an overdraft for this. If we go even one dollar into the red, we'll lose our company instantly. Billy, don't worry about it. We got this. He really has that much power? Unbelievable. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Unbelievable. What a setback. Well, we'll have to earn the money. Just sweat it out until the last rate is paid. See, I'm not real sure why he's so worried about it. I mean, granted, we do want to buy Gordon Fox out and, and get him out of the way, but, I mean, let's face it, business is good, regardless of how much we might have beyond what the game would normally uh, expect us to have at this point business is still good we're still rolling along making good money expanding all that kind of stuff so not really that big a deal all right take over gordon fox trucking for at least eight million dollars well i think we can handle that and it says he's worth 12 so this is going to be interesting so let's get in here and see what it wants us to do with this all right, so uh, come on now, get off there. All right, competitors, Gordon Fox. Um, I like that we're going to send him a letter. 
that we would like to make an offer to take over your trucking company. All right, send the inquiry. So his company value, wow, is saying 7.9. So that corresponds to the $8 million. So what happens if I offer him $8 million? So is that... Now I'm interested, obviously we could offer him much more than this. And in the past, with the takeovers we've done, we've had to offer much more than they put uh, the value in the letter. But now I'm interested. Haha, -ha, and it worked. That's impossible. How did you guys get so powerful? It's impossible. I like the vo voice acting. That's very dramatic. Well, not the way you did. We did it through hard work. Ooh, Billy with the mic drop. This can't be happening. I think he's having a heart attack. Is Gordon Fox having a heart attack right now? If I'm going down, I'm taking you down with me. Oh, here we go. Final gasp. The deal's not finalized yet, and you still have to pay me the next rates. I'm going to give you one hell of a hard time. Is anybody recording any of this for the courts, for the lawyers? Anybody? What did he mean by that? Oh, I can't wait to find out what he means by that. I don't know. Maybe he really does have some more cards up his sleeve. But what could he do to you now? Ooh. I think I know what he meant. Guys, look. An email just came in. He, he revoked our car, tank, and livestock <laughs> trailer concessions. <laughs> really? Really? Car, tank, and livestock. What does that mean? That means we're not allowed to use those trailers and all current contracts for them will be canceled. <laughs> and we can't just rebuy the concessions. Oh, I love it. I love it. This game is so desperate to kill you at the very end. This is terrible. It also says there are numerous clients that won't work with us anymore. The car factories, the airport, the petrochemical factories, oil fields, farms, food factories. All those clients that we won, he took them away from us. Our reputation with them is ruined. Now, see, this is where, I mean, come on. Our reputation with them is ruined? By what? Every time we've taken over these customers by gaining reputation with them, they've all told us that they're glad that we did that because they were tired of working for Gordon Fox. So it's kind of hard for me to believe that he would then go back to them and tell them whatever and that they would just believe him. This, none of this makes any sense. We've got to be better than this. But you can still work with your other clients. You still have a good relationship with them. Yes. We should just bend over and take it. Whatever Gordon Fox has got, we should take it. No lawyer should be hired. No bluff should be called. Sure, that, that, none of that seems like a good idea. We should just go with it. You say that, but it's still a whole load of lost contracts. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Pal, we need to scrape together enough money to pay the second and third rates of the takeover deal. Already done. And be extra careful not to go into the red. If we do, we're out of business. Okay. So, yeah, here's all our contract cancellations. Oh. So let's see what we've got. Let's just back out of here. For a moment. So we've paid our four million. We got two million to pay on three twenty-nine and then four twelve. So we've got essentially another uh month to go, roughly, in uh the game. So it looks like let's see, everybody yeah, we're gonna have fifty-three. Alright, so we got rid of a lot of con I mean, not that it matters to us because we've got we got tons of money remaining. So let's just give it a minute. Woo, you can see the game does not like all of this at going at one time. Oh, it is crushing the CPU right now. Ouch. I'm sorry, computer. I'm very, very sorry. All right, so let's just let all of this go. Uh, you can see what we've got left. But yeah, I'm. I have to admit, if if I play this game anymore, um, it will definitely be in the free mode or sandbox mode. This is just I, don't, I can't. This is called trying too hard. 
this type of game, it's nice to have a, a career mode. And I would have, I would have thought that the career mode was going to take us just through, you know, the basics. And hey, you need to upgrade to this type of trailer. Here's how you unlock that. Oh look, after you've gotten a bunch of money, here's how you can, you know, buy more depots and buy more trucks and just sort of walk you through those steps and take over a company and all that. And it did those things along the way, but it just it put too much in there. In my opinion, of course, all of this is just my opinion. Some of you may have absolutely loved the career mode, and that's great. Uh, we're going to decline. But yeah, I would have been just perfectly fine with a simple campaign that walked you through the basics and not forced you to go through all of this. All right, so we've got... Uh, by the way, I am dying to know what it's what it does with the concessions all right it says concessions locked for 24 days you had too many license violations yeah 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 yeah. too many violations got it so it's locked for 24 days essentially to the end of uh this campaign payout and so we can't buy them back right now okay i was wondering how they were going to handle that so at this point We have an absolute ton. I mean, you can see 69 trucks that are sitting idle. I mean, we've got a whole bunch more. Wow. Just wow. That's a whole bunch of trucks. We got 108 trucks. We've only got 92 drivers. And at this point, uh, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to be hiring a whole bunch of drivers. I really want to see what happens as we get through this. Uh, the other interesting thing, Billy has been talking about this whole time how his friends, and or our friends, in the case of the career mode, back at Gordon Fox Trucking were just, you know, they were so miserable under him, and it would be really be great if we could save them from him. And now look at how many of them didn't come over. Again, not everything quite adds up. You would think they would be overjoyed that we took them over. Or at least in the process of taking them over. So, yeah, it's... By the way, are there any... We now, we now own all of the depots, I think. The one in Denver, I think, was the last open depot available. So as I scroll around... I am looking, and I don't really see anything. I don't see any more depots that are open. So it looks like the absolute max. Yeah, it looks like the absolute max. looks like all of his are maxed out, as best I can tell anyway. So the max number of trucks would be 108 in the game which you could really rack up some money with that many trucks, that's for sure. But at this point, all right, we're going to make it to, the first part of our quest line is to make it to 329 and pay that $2 million. Obviously, we're going to be perfectly fine there. And then, while we're at it, all right, so we're almost there. For that part of the quest line. Another thing that uh, some of my thoughts about the game as we're winding down this playthrough, you know, we've talked about the DLC, and I definitely think there's plenty of room for that, uh, staying just in North America here. Okay, when is this payment going to be made? So we're at 329. The second rate is paid. Perfect. There we go. But wait a moment. Oh, wait a moment. Here we go. Why do we have so little money in our bank account? That can't be right. What? Really? Are you... Just come on. Re Was there an error with the bank, or can we assume that Gordon Fox has meddled with our bank account? Oh, so yeah. So are you telling me he took $45 million out of our bank account and... Uh, come on. I think it's safe to assume the latter. Sure, but nobody's going to do anything about it. I don't want anybody to research this anything. This is a total disaster. I don't want anybody There's to talk so to the money. bank, lawyers, nothing. We have to pay our drivers and fixed costs. We have to make money as soon as possible. When the bills come... I didn't expect it to be this hard. Really? 
just okay at this point i'm just kind of i'm now i really am done with this i cannot wait for this to be done so at this point i'm just i'm just going to let this thing ride out i want to see if we can get to two million we should uh but at this point i just want to see if it'll happen uh, we don't have that much time left and I uh, man Again, I'm just not for that. Why does the game have to do that? Why do they have to strip you of everything in order to... Wait, what just happened? Oh, we had costs come out. Okay. I guess. Who the world knows? I'm. This game is so ridiculous at this point. Uh, I want to see what happens on... I, yeah, I'm just. I want to see what happens at the end here. If we don't make this, or if we do make it, I, at this point, I don't even care. So we got to the 12th, so not very much longer. We got a week and a half, basically. So, and we certainly got a lot going on here. So, again, now I'm kind of interested. What happens if we do or don't make it? Either way, on 4:12. Let's see how it turns out. So we're up to 1.3. We still got some time. 1.4. So at the end of this, Gordon Fox should get about six lifetimes in jail uh, for stealing... 45 million in addition to all the other corrupt stuff he's done along the way. All right. Oh, it's going to be close. We'll see if they take some more money out. I mean, obviously one way to help this would be to get rid of all these drugs and trailers. But hey, at this point, it's kind of interesting. 1.8. We're only at the fourth. So we got some time. We're building. Oh, wow. New price for gas. So they're really pouring it on now. I'm trying to cost us money. So the, at this point, the, the game is throwing everything in the kitchen sink at us to keep us from being able to make money. All right. So almost there. We'll see what costs come out for all of these trucks in particular, depots and all that. All right. So we made it for now. For now. Okay, 2.1. Absolutely, everybody gets salary increases. Even now. All right, let's see if we can maintain our $2 million. I mean, yeah, this would, if, if we would have just stuck with... Oh, there you go. There you go, back down to 1.4. There's all our costs coming out. So now, can we get it back? <laughs> Is it bad that I'm enjoying this um, this much at this point? I'm not even mad anymore. I'm so disappointed in this game and in the career mode of the game. Now, the game itself is fun, um, which makes it all that much more disappointing that they went to these links to ruin it here toward the end of the career mode. All right, so we're getting there. Oh, it's the ninth. We're at 1.8. We gotta get to the 12th with 2 million. It's gonna be close. We can do it. All right, get to 1.9. There you go. The fact that we are able to make this much money this quickly with all of this dead weight over here is amazing. All right, so we're there for now. Oh, we, see, we went back below it. We're back above it. We really are just pressing our luck here, aren't we? All right, we're on the 11th. <laughs> just, we're pushing it down to the, to the wire here. Are we going to have enough money? All right, here we go. We're on the 12th, and we have the money for now. 
Yes! We did it! Pal, we made it! The takeover rates are paid! I think Billy's a little happy. Yeah, me I want to hear from Gordon Fox. <sighs> that was a real close call, right? We're not going to discuss it anymore, Billy. Could have done without it. But now, it's finally over. Finally. This can't be happening. How did you do that? I sabotaged you in every way possible, and still you... Again, is anybody recording any of this? Please tell me yes. Well, sometimes the good guys win. Now that we own your company, we've uncovered all your schemes and reported you to the police. Thank goodness. That won't work. I have so many friends in the police, no one would dare lock me up. Maybe they won't, but I will. Uh-oh. Tell them, Maria. I have connections, too. I managed to put some of your friends in jail and found some law enforcers who are more than willing to lock you up. Haha, -ha, Maria to the rescue. You can't do that. P please. I swear, I'll make everything right again. No, I... Where are you taking me? Get your hands off of me! Stop it! Stop! And there he goes, straight to jail. Serves him right. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Maria, for all your help along the way. We couldn't have done it without you. That's my pleasure. I thought this would be a straightforward job, but it turned out to be a very important case. Yes, it did, Maria. Very important. Not just for you and me, but for the whole trucking industry as well. You bet. Well, I guess that's it now, pal. We've stopped Fox, and our ex-colleagues are finally safe from him. Yes, or at least the ones that stuck around. Gordon can't harm them anymore, and we can finally breathe easy. That's right, we sure can. How about a well-earned vacation? No doubt. Time for that trip to the Grand Canyon. What do you say, pal? There we go. Bring it around full circle, Billy. We're finally going to get that vacation that we were trying to take at the very beginning. Let's do it, Billy. All right, so we did it. The career mode quest line is done. Woo, and from my perspective, not a moment too soon because they were really trying me there at the end. Wow, that is, uh, yeah, just wow. We won't, we won't talk any more about uh, the career mode. But yeah, uh, my, some of my final thoughts on the game as we finish up this playthrough before that we started to do before we got so rudely interrupted by Gordon Fox taking $45 million from us. I really, really enjoy this game. I do feel like it's a bit shallow over the long term uh, because at some point, you know, in these types of games, you need to always have something that you're reaching toward. And at the beginning of the game, that's very simple. You start out with, you know, one truck, one trailer, and that kind of thing. And then your quest is to expand your depot and get more trucks and more trailers and drivers and all that. And that's really good. And it keeps you occupied for a while because you just want to, you want to purchase more depots and more trucks and more trailers and, and upgrade trucks if you've been using a lot of uh, used trucks, that kind of thing. So there's a lot going on, you know, unlocking customers and all that. But at some point, you've sort of gotten most everything that you want to get. Not that you've necessarily gotten all of the uh, depots up to the maximum level and everything. But at some point, you've kind of been there, done that. So you're looking for a new challenge. And that's where this game sort of falls flat. At some point, like we were, we were rolling in money before Gordon took it all. You know, we had 45 million and no more trucks or trailers to purchase, no more depots to purchase. There was really nowhere else for, nowhere else for us to go, nothing else for us to do. I mean, we could keep making money, but, you know, at some point that kind of gets old, or at least it does for me. So it would be nice if we had more upgrades so that we could purchase more trucks. Uh, I would like to see depots in every city. Now, I got a feeling that's performance related, but aside from that, because uh, we've seen a lot of stutters, a lot of stutters in this game, particularly toward the end when we had all of these guys that were, uh, were becoming idle. I would like to say, I don't really know of a good reason, again, outside of the performance type stuff, 
for why you could not have and should not have the ability to at least have uh, depots in every city on the map. Because obviously we don't have all the cities in this country on the map. So the ones we do have, we should have the ability to... I would like more control, more depots, uh, more control over our trucks so that the timing of the contracts isn't such a big issue. Uh, thankfully, there are options in the sandbox mode that can help alleviate some of that. But, yeah, there, I feel like there needs to be another step, another step higher uh, above what's there now. Maybe, I'm not sure, maybe a bigger HQ, um, that more upgrades you could do to the HQ to add some more uh, background to the game. Who knows? But I feel like there just needs to be another step up, um, another tier that you can work your way toward that is much more expensive than just buying uh, a new depot for 250000 and then doing the upgrades, which don't take all that much money. So uh, those are some of my thoughts. I mean, there's plenty of avenues this game could go. I know there are other uh, transportation types of games that do, you know, you get into boats and you get into trains and, and, and all that kind of stuff, uh, some of which we've done here on the channel with other games. But, but yeah, overall, I've really enjoyed the game, uh, and for a large portion of it, I've enjoyed the career mode, because it did, you know, a lot of what I expected it to do, um, aside from some of the really, really negative things that I have to say about portions of it. But overall, a very fun game. I definitely feel like I've gotten my money's worth out of it, no doubt. Um, and we'll see where we go from here. I want to see if they do any... Uh, DLCs or any substantial gameplay updates in the future. But for now, that's going to do it for our Let's Play series. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate um, all of your support on not only this series, but all the series that we have here on the channel. So thank you very much for joining me. And that's going to do it for our Let's Play series of Trans Road USA.